you know, I was listening to an audio by Jim Rohn and he talked about this Bible verse. There's a Bible verse that says, man cannot live by bread alone. And that the next verse says, the next best thing is words. Man cannot live by bread alone, but by words, by the word. And I remember hearing one of my mentors talk about how you can miss a meal, but don't miss a book. <laughs> miss a meal if you have to, but don't miss an idea. And how ideas are like disembodied entities. They fly to you because they, they want to be given life. They want you to give them life. But if you're constantly in the mode of consumption when it comes to food and you neglect the food of the mind, the food for thought, right? When you neglect to nourish your spirit, to nourish your soul, are you really whole? So when we talk about having a holistic diet or a spiritual diet, we can understand that books can have their say. Books can have their place within our day. If we're going to not miss any meals, <laughs> let it be the meal that elevates your mind. Let it be the meal that allows you to redesign, rewire, retrain the brain. Let it be the meal that makes for the most profound change. <laughs>